Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. In this video, I just wanted to quickly show you the effects of the January update for the Surface Duo. There wasn't an update with the in December, because Microsoft held it over to January. And so this update includes December 2020 and January 21 Android security updates. But one of the things that Microsoft say does it is improve Surface Duo UI stability. And I have to say, I'm pretty much finding that is the case. Everything just seems very smooth in there. Uh, the touch stability or the, the, the touch responsiveness seems better. So I found things like task switching works much better. It's more reliable for flicking between the applications and closing the applications and switching it across between between screens. And I actually found that um, moving between spanning screens just seems to be a bit easier with this uh, with this build. There's definitely improvement in the touch responsiveness of the Surface Duo. Um, some, some of the other, one of the other things that Microsoft mentioned is the audio quality using speak, speaker mode. I won't bother showing you that here because you can't really pick that up through a YouTube video. But it does seem better. So the, when you're taking a photo, let's go back to there. If I take a photo, it's it's much more responsive than it was on previous builds. And you can see it moving it around seems equally fine. And also, it also seems feels better as well on the sort of switching between the screens so when you're doing the the front and rear camera modes that kind of thing it feels much more responsive as well so that's not specifically mentioned in the release notes but it does feel better to me on there as well so it, the whole thing feels more responsive and like I said you've got spanning improvements and um, the touch UI improvements one of the things I've done as well just to uh, some people might want to try this is I've put a screen uh, locking tool. I've, I've turned off the auto um, the auto screen rotation which seems to make the surface work much better but I've added this app in there where you can just quickly flip them around if you want to change them so uh, it makes it easier to sort of control the surface because sometimes it can get a bit confused. You don't have to do this but uh, I, I find that works best for me. So that's a very quick update of what's happening with the surface January update. I'm loving the duo so far no major issues with it. Uh, in previous videos, I talked about its limitations. You probably read about those, heard about those. No NFC for payments, uh, no wireless charging, and the camera isn't brilliant. But for what it is, it's great. I'm using it a lot for productivity and browsing on the sofa. It's great. It's my go-to device. I could use other devices. I've got a Note 20 here, but I, I much prefer using this. So this is my go-to device for. For most stuff, really. So, uh, thanks for watching this video. You can find out more on the